Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today is episode s 6 of the Chelsea Manager Career Modern, guys. Um, I just have my mic right now, but later, but I'm not gonna have my mic for this episode. So, the games, so when I, the games and if I do signings and other things like that, I'm not gonna have a mic. I'm just gonna have a, uh, my mic right here and then at the end of the video. But, right now we're gonna... Play versus Easter, play versus Inter Milan. We're gonna sim the Spurs game and play a second leg versus Inter Milan. And then we're gonna sim the West Brom, Burnley, and Fulham. And then we're done with the episode. And during these games, uh, I'm not gonna have my mic, of course. I'm not gonna have my mic, so she's gonna be hearing the audio of the game and not my voice. <laughs> and yeah, let's go, let's go straight into this episode. Be with you from Stamford Bridge. This is Derek Ray, joined for commentary by former England international Lee Dixon, and we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Chelsea facing Leicester City. Yeah, Derek, cracking atmosphere as usual here. That will lead to a nervy, energetic start, frenetic, fast play to begin with before it all settles down. I'm really looking forward to this one. Chelsea we're going to find out Timo Werner this is Amate and can they exploit the space out wide towards that far post might still be able to do a bit of damage Time for calm on the ball. Well, he's featured on the back pages of quite a few newspapers in recent days. Facing his former club today, it was always to a large extent going to be about him. And you have to say, the reception he's received has been a good one, Lee. Yeah, it has. A chance to level it. Oh, they've done it. A goal for Chelsea, who got themselves on level terms. Well, you could be critical of the defending, but let's focus on the great play capped off with a superb, calm, calculated finish. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. Goal what a miss. Chelsea, number 18, Olivier Giroud. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Ndidi. Genghis Under deserves credit for winning the ball back. It looks promising. Preferring to go infield. Marcos Acuna. And Chelsea could be onto something. Can he do it? Well, the shot from that position left a bit to be desired just got to hit the target let the power down a little bit and go for accuracy Morgan Akanji has it Ndidi attack that went nowhere Tielemans 
still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Opportunity it is. Deary me, a golden chance missed. It might come back to haunt him. Well, you learn the script time and time again, and he's now just gone and fluffed his lines. Reese James. And Matt. Ziyech. Might be a chance here. And the keeper got there. Going short. And Giroud waits to fire. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Morgan. Now indeedy, the referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. And the first 45 minutes have come and gone. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Harvey Barnes. Barnes. Chilwell on to Werner here's Chilwell well there's no getting away from it he has been the subject of transfer speculation Lee what are your thoughts on the matter well time will tell Derek I'm surprised it's not happened already to be fair the grapevine has been red hot I'm not surprised he doesn't half catch the eye when I see him play say for the goalkeeper yeah he has to do better than that I could have saved that Derek Werner and there is the goal he's found the net joy unconfined so there we have it 2-1 And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Chelsea are really struggling in terms of possession, but to their credit, they've been... Well, it could be on for him here. The ball was put into the right area, but no one able to capitalise. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Good technique displayed. This is the home of live football, EA TV. And how about this for live action coming up? The Champions League quarter-final first leg. It's Chelsea. Can they keep it out? Well, they can keep possession of it now. Well, Chelsea can't keep defending like this. Still leading this game, but how? The crowd are doing their bit to get them onside again. Armstrong. Once again, the sides are level. It's a kaleidoscope of shifting emotions. Running with the ball confidently. And offside all the way. Progress made by Chelsea, and at this late stage, a goal could be decisive. Well, they get the ball once more. Well, just to point you in the right direction, we have... He's in with a chance. He knew he had to make the tackle, and did. Werner. 
and Mount. Well, the attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. Genghis Under. And they need to get tighter here. Timo Werner bodies forward and the break looks on oh in with a chance there it is a fantastic goal and no wonder he's off celebrating well let's look at this again magical football on the break surprise is the key and it all leads to a 2v1 on the keeper which he really doesn't have any chance with it's a great team goal 3-2 it is who would have predicted that before a ball was kicked and that is full time Chelsea have prevailed three points for them Lee wow Derek what a game of football that was no wonder this team scores so many goals chances Chris chance to cross he's played it over to the near post well he's elected to tip that over for the corner now the delivery passing it clear and he's a striker who improves with each passing year Timo Werner in the context of this game what do you expect to see from him Lee? well he's been in fine form in this competition Timo Werner the replay and look at the pace at which the counter-attack happens and then the finish couldn't be simpler really given far too much time and space inside the box he doesn't even have to get up in the end just nonchalantly heads it past the keeper so underway again here cannon to come up with the right answer olivier giroud on to Werner. Oh, what an opportunity! Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. So, a throw in here. Plenty of pre match chatter on the subject of Olivier Giroud. If you believe the stories coming out of the cup, this could be his final season. Could he be thinking about hanging up his. Oh, still work out for them well that is a moment I'm sure he wishes he could have back well he did everything right the movement and everything he got his head on it but it's way way off target Olivier Giroud and Chelsea get the decision from the referee Werner Giroud well that is a defender's job to come to the rescue a good looking move could be a chance to break here and the ball's been given away by Lukaku Aspiliqueta attacking possibilities for Chelsea and they keep the ball, advantage Chelsea and a goal! There he is, at the double they just can't subdue him Well as we see again, that's how to score goals, get the ball into the box from wide areas and he gets up for the header and quite frankly it's a lovely finish, brilliant goal Lukaku unable to keep the ball bad challenge and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next well read to put an end to that attack Eric 
Jackson. Nicolas Dominguez. It's with Giroud. Again, and you have to say it's taken with such conviction, slotted right in the bottom corner. Easy as you like, job done. Goal for Chelsea. And so the first half draws to a close here in West London. Well, Timo Werner, no two ways about it, can strike fear in any opponent, Lee. Yeah, I bet the keeper is sick of the sight of him. He's been peppering that. And so they kick off the second half in this Champions League quarter-final first leg. Hakimi. Now it's Alexis Sanchez. Attack promising as it was, scuppered there. Creative look about this. Olivier Giroud at the ready. Danger averted for now, but they have a corner to defend. It's a short one. Werner. Chelsea throw in here. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. That's a very impressive piece of defending. Just a reminder, we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV. It's Chelsea facing Spurs. Yeah, Derek, should be a great atmosphere there. It's one I would be tuning in for if I wasn't there with you. Getting the ball forward. Werner. A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat-trick. The ball rolling again in what has been an utterly one-sided match. Half an hour remaining then. Werner. And Inter have it once again. And in with a real chance. And failed to keep himself onside, unfortunately. Chilwell. On to Werner. Good-looking sequence. Is it going to be? Great save by now the delivery and a throw in it's going to be chance here and that is defending of the highest order well that is a defender's job to come to the rescue a good looking move Defensive efficiency personified. An attack full of promise. Needs to clear it away. Hakimi. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. And Kai Havertz. Oh, the referee has given it. Penalty it is. Time for a change then. In it goes. A well-taken penalty. Well, if there were any lingering doubts, 
surely they now have been removed. Now Chelsea in a position of menace. Teammates in the middle. Nicely blocked, but he's got to get rid of it. Not problematic for Handanovic. Varela. Now Danilo D'Ambrosio. survived the attack throw-ins given Brozovic that's very effective good high pressing Della Vega really getting stuck in and just the one minute left in normal time here well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. And he's through here. Oh, there it is! It's one goal after another, and it speaks to the quality of that performance. And that is that, the final whistle. It's advantage Chelsea going into the return leg of this time. Well, it's half 